So what kind of bags do you have at home? Do you have a go bag? 72 hour bag? Emergency backpack? Do you have one to your get home bag? What kind of bags do you have? Well, we're going to talk about some of the things that if you're serious about prepping, and there's probably some of you out there already have some of these items, but for those of you who don't, you may want to look at possibly picking up a few of these items and putting them in one of your bags. That's your most important bag. The one that is always with you. So let's get going on this. Welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about a few little tools that you may want to try to incorporate into your backpacks, especially your main backpack that is your grab and go for in a very emergency type situation, shift, hit the fan, uh, whatever it may be. Uh, this is going to include a few things that could come in very handy. So the first thing we're going to start off with, <clears throat> we're going to start off with something that I made up myself that you can make very simple. Okay. All you need is when you buy aluminum foil, it comes on those really hard cardboard rolls. Okay. Yes, it is cardboard. All right. But when you use those, don't throw that away. You can utilize that to make something that can be very beneficial to you in a time of need. And what I'm talking about are these two little things right here. These two little guys right here. So we're going to start with this one first. All right. As you can see, it's a cardboard roll. You can see right through it. Da, da, da. All right. So on this one here, all right, <clears throat> I do have a little bit of this orange twine. Like if I need something, I want to try to mark my trail, per se, um, so you know exactly where you've been or how to get back so you could untwine this there's exactly 30 feet on here all right at this end is your standard duct tape okay and there's quite a bit on there i mean there's quite a bit on there in the center part here that is your electrical tape now remember this is all on a piece of cardboard and all i used was a hacksaw and i sawed it right in half so i didn't crush it so it stayed perfectly fine it didn't get you know destroyed because they're pretty tough now granted if they do get wet they're gonna fall apart but these are made to be put into your backpack and hopefully those are waterproof or you could put them inside of a plastic bag and put them in your backpack to make sure that they stay waterproof so that is an easy solution now at the very end here this is some really strong duct tape um, this stuff here is uh, uh, when it sticks, it sticks, and trust me, it would plug up a hole in a radiator, hose, um, your tarp. I mean, these this will do a tarp, but this thing here, once you put this kind of tape on there, it does not come off. Now, the other one that I did, <clears throat> it has, once again, more of the orange twine. So if I needed to mark my trail to make sure that I knew how to get back to an area or to try to make sure that I'm not like walking in circles. Um, so this way here, you can kind of mark your trail. Then you just have your basic twine here at the other end. Um, yes, the strength on this is not as strong as anything else. Um, but then again, you know, just for some basic necessities, you could use some of this and this is very cheap. Then I have my bank line. Um, there's 30 feet on there for emergency purposes. So if I needed to try to tie up a quick shelter, run a reg line, um, that type of stuff, I could use this to run my reg line. And um, I always carry an emergency tarp in all my backpacks. So this way here, maybe I could have some shelter to get out of say the, the rain, uh, snow, whatever it may be. And at the very end, something that you wanna try to make sure that you have, I don't know if you all can see that, 
fishing line. It's a 20 pound test. Um, there's 30 yards on there. Um, so uh, this way here, I do carry a little tin that has uh, some hooks in it. So if I needed to, I would have some way uh, to try to catch possibly maybe some fish or something because you can always find grubs, worms, and that kind of stuff out in the woods. Now, let's move on to another thing that you may want to make sure that you have in your backpack. A file. A good, sturdy, solid file. Not a little dinky thing that comes on like your Swiss Army knife or something like that. You want a good, sturdy, file. Now this file here, I can sharpen my knives, I can sharpen my um, saw blades, I can sharpen my axe, my hatchet, my machete, I can do it all with one file blade. And they're not that expensive. I'm going to put links to some of this stuff in the description below so you guys can go in and check it out and uh, you'll see. But um, <clears throat> A file you want to make sure you have a very very good file now something else that you, you could get and I did buy and I tried it out and I have to say that it did I was surprised it did work and that is this um, sharpener from uh, Smith's okay now this is made for uh, like your axe and I use it on my axe and my machete and my hatchet all right, that's what it's made for. It's not really made for knives. I'm not sure if you could use it on a knife or if you'd want to because it really digs in pretty good. Um, but I did try it on a dull hatchet that I've had for years. And that thing was beat up and rusty and everything else. And it did a pretty darn good job. So um, I did get this off Amazon. I was a little leery because it is plastic. But it has a very nice grip, a very nice good handle. A good place for your thumb so you can really get going on it. It does come with a um, comes with a little metal brush so you can clean up your act when you're done there. Um, and it just pops right back in. So I'll leave a link in the description for this also. Now let's move on down the line. Does anybody know what one of these are? This is what you're going to use if emergency happens and you're at home or if you're out somewhere and you need to turn something on. It can go both ways here, people. All right. So this end here, this, this end and this are for gas turn for your turn your gas off or on. So if you had natural gas, this is what you would use to turn this off and on in case of emergency at your home. The very end is made to turn your water off at the main out in front of your house. Now, if you're on well water, obviously you don't really need this, but you have to have power in order to get your water to run your pump. So this is for like city folk, if you want to put it that way. Okay. So this comes in handy. I'll leave a description of this in the description below and a link. And uh, you can pick these up, <clears throat> something to good to have in your pack. If you need to turn the water on or off, or if you need to turn the natural gas on or off, um, could be a lifesaver. And either way, you look at it. Now, then a little tool <clears throat> is this little tool right here. All right. Now, this is made for the purpose of um, your outside spigots. Okay. Everybody's got your outside spigots. Now, if people go through and they take the handles and stuff off, you can't turn the spigot on. Correct. But if you have this little tool, okay, this little tool will turn on any spigot. So if you needed to get water, you could walk up to, with this, find which one it is, because there's four different types, okay? And you can turn the water on and off using this tool. Now, the last thing we're gonna talk about, my father had a set of these when I was a kid. I remember him having a set um, he worked on heavy equipment, farm tractors, all kinds of different things. Okay. So, but he had a set of these keys and I picked up a set of these keys. And surprisingly enough, I was quite amazed that they weren't really that expensive. 
And for the price, you can't really go wrong. Now, <clears throat> this is an equipment key ring. All right. Now there's keys on here that will start just about anything known to man. Now, cause you see when they make a lot of tractors, especially like heavy equipment, uh, like Caterpillar and all those, it's a, um, the same key starts all, like if you had a Caterpillar key, uh, years ago, years and years and years ago, uh, I worked for a company and I did off-road work, um, worked on trucks, changing uh, tires, 50 ton trucks, uh, loaders, excavators, all that kind of stuff. All right. And we had a Caterpillar key because most of all the places where we went had Caterpillar. We all were issued a key and that key worked in any piece of equipment on anybody's property. Now the same goes with this. All right. This is this little thing will run anything from a John Deere, Caterpillar, Volvo, um, Hitachi, uh, Yamaha, uh, you name it. Um, there's a key on here for it. Now when you do buy this, it comes with a little piece of paper that you're going to want to try to make sure that you preserve if you don't know your keys. Or you may mark your keys. But it comes with this and it breaks it down for you and it tells you what key goes with what equipment. Which is very nice because if you just look at it, they don't say on there. But you can buy little stickers and you can put them on here and that way you can mark these and you can put these right into your backpack. Because you never know if the shit hit the fan or, you know, if an emergency situation came around and you were stuck out somewhere and it came across a piece of heavy equipment and say for some reason you needed to use it. Well, find the key and away you go. So this has just been a little video on some of the products that you may want to uh, incorporate into your backpack. Um, these would be more advanced products, except for the file. Always want to have a file because you need some way to sharpen up your knife or your ax or maybe your saw blade or whatever else. But a file would be a number one thing that you want to have. And maybe the couple little things that I did make, um, because these are very easy to do, more than likely you have all this kind of stuff laying around. And it just takes a little bit of time to put it together put it inside a little plastic bag and put it into your backpack. That way you have them. And then everything else <clears throat> would be more of a luxury, um, a necessity on a higher end, on a more serious level of prepping. Um, but you're going to find when you start looking at the descriptions below that they really don't cost that much money. So until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and this has been ways to get the gas, turn the water on, and maybe catch a ride. I'll catch you all on the flip side.